How's it going boys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Tyler. I go by Zany Online and today I just wanted to go ahead and talk about the fact that I have switched over and become a Rofi user. Never saw this one coming. Um, if you're unfamiliar with like what I use, um, I typically am a DWM and more suckless user. I, it's not like I use their entire suite or like I'm a gung-ho suckless dude. I just really enjoy using DWM and for the longest time I've used DMenu and DMenu is a great program launcher. I've got it completely removed off my system at this point but um, if you don't know what DW or DMenu is I highly recommend you go watch um, DistroTube has a video on it. There's plenty of creators who have done good content on D, uh, D menu and it's a it's an all-around really great program that you can extend functionality really well the problem I've had with the D menu here on OpenBSD is it has a weird quirk let me walk you through the literal reason why I'm now a Rofi user I will go into the other cool things about Rofi here in a minute, but the reason that I am on Rofi now is no matter what, DMenu, just no matter what on OpenBSD, when you pipe a large amount of information, let me give you an example, we'll go into my dot local share script depths, which is short shorthand for script dependencies and open up emoji we've got a file called emoji dash new and this file has a whole bunch of emojis and the names for the emojis if we go all the way down to the bottom there is just over 1300 lines in this now you might be thinking if you're familiar with piping large amounts of data into D menu um, this shouldn't be a problem as far as I know I've heard from a handful of people that they've piped over 50,000 lines into D menu and it's still fine however on OpenBSD when I pipe that much data into D menu it takes a solid 15 seconds for it to load up like you genuinely can think that it just doesn't work before it loads that's how slow it is now with Rofi I'm gonna press the key binding all right it's practically instant don't ask me why have no clue but Rofi is really nice because it's pretty much a really easy to use drop-in replacement for DMenu. So let me show you how gr great Rofi is for me specifically. So with this DMenu emoji script, when I installed Rofi and needed to switch over to it, this is genuinely, R Rofi can function just like DMenu and it's awesome. So if we go into my dot local bin um, and then go into emoji selector, then you'll see we, we take this file, cat it into Rofi dash D menu. And obviously when we select something, we just copy the emoji. Um, I'll show you how this functions, but like, let's just say we uh, want to get the rolling on the floor laughing emoji. We get that and then Dunce tells us we've copied it to the clipboard and I could paste it anywhere. Um, it's a really nice emoji selection script for the computer. And so, um, and I also stole this from Luke Smith. Um, I am proud to say that it's been slightly improved uh, since since uh, I pulled it down from Luke Smith. Uh, he has it where he's cutting every single time. Um, like the file that has, like it's got extra stuff in it. Just removed all the extra bits with the cut like once and now just pipe all that information in there. No no, re no reason to cut it every time. Um, 
and also got rid of them like mythical said line like i have no fucking clue how said works and he uses said uh to just get the emoji yeah no no we ain't doing said magic here let's just make it a simple alt command um everyone can understand that like let's let's just be real it's much much more human readable than than some mythical said magic but um so Rofi works really well that way. Um, you might be like, oh, well, I installed Rofi and uh, it definitely doesn't look like yours. Like yours looks, you know, like it's matching your desktop and theme. Well, Rofi also comes with like this handy little thing called Rofi Theme Selector, which we'll run in a minute. But when you run it, it you will get output, uh, especially if you're on a OpenBSD, where it's going to tell you that you need to do this. So if you're using KSH, go into your KSH RC. If you're using Bash, go into your Bash RC. Um, and at export XDG data uh, underscore data underscore DERS equals user local share. And then export that in your, well, you know, your regular shell, like your terminal. So write that line again here in the shell and run it. And then you'll also want to make sure that you touch this file here. Um, let's see, where is it? It's in your dot config. Oh, hold on. CD. We'll just give it some command, but you'll want to, eh, I'll, I'll just write it. I really hope I don't overwrite it, but touch dot config. And then it'll be Rofi and it's like config, yeah, Razzy. So you'll wanna to touch that file there because when you run this, it won't create the file if it's not there for some weird reason. So just go ahead and make the file, just touch it, make an empty file there, and then run rofi-theme-selector. And it's gonna open up here and you can get plenty of themes very easily here and it's, Super simple to use. You just go through. If you want to take a look at, at one, like let's say we want to take a look at Monokai, just click enter and you can preview it. And then if you like it, then all you have to do is press Alt A and it'll accept the new theme, close, and your Rofi will now look like this theme. Um, if you want to like actually change the font or something like that. Again, you, you can just add this little configuration little thing down here, change it. I've got my font set to Hermit 14, you know, just good old stuff. And yeah, it works just fine. Oh, uh, did not mean to open up another terminal, but let me close this. There you go. It's beautiful. I, am really liking Rofi, uh, mainly because it's just such a simple drop in replacement. Now to get run here, instead of doing D, um, Rofi dash D menu, you do Rofi dash show run. And then you'll get a list of all of the applications that you can open up and it works just fine. Really, really can't say enough good things about it. I was very resistant to coming over and becoming a Rofi user, but eh, it's super simple, really easy drop in replacement. Like it's just super nice. So hopefully you found this video uh, informative or at the, at the very least uh, enjoyable video. So if you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. There's the bell notification button, click that so YouTube will actually you know, send you notifications. And then I will also have all of my links down in the description like Discord and Patreon. So if you wanna support the, sh the channel, you're more than welcome to go over and join these fine people over on Patreon, TGB, Arch Center, Seneca, Russell Willis, Joshua Lee, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Thank all of you guys for your support. It's very much appreciated. And I hope everyone has a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.